Alice is a guardian angel and she's in line up at the pearly gate with her person Adam and Adam is saying I can't believe that son of a bitch sold me a defective parachute Meanwhile, uh, Alice, oh, those are my eyes. You're on the new pair of son of carpenter, Mary. Dad carpenter worked on skyscrapers, mom, Marianne. I am the son of carpenter, Mary. I get to tell parables, this is one of them. And uh, I get to do a little genetic carpentry. Alice is doing the math. right next to Adam there and she says you got a lot of black marks back in college but you've been good ever since and she's working away on that calculator I think I think I can get you into purgatory then they finally get up to the front of the line and a Sandra, the guardian angel, is a working the gate and has to give Alice the bad news. Apparently they've had a lot of priests and nuns lately. So they you know, raised the bar, and yeah, you guessed it. Adam's on his way to the really hot place. Oh, not bad. Two minutes, two and a half minutes. I like to stretch out a little bit in my morning parable, but I don't like to bore. I can drone on and on about uh, this or that, and that's all good stuff, but some folks are in a hurry. So those of you out there who can, I'll take those Tommy parables I'm making the afternoon. As I do my sugar check, take those Tommy parables and, uh, oh, re them yourself if you want, or just, you know, chop up the video so but just the best parts are there and of course if you're in a hurry all the time a lot of folks are check out my parable bites I've got uh, That was, I hope it's not my DVD case. Hold on just a sec. Is the magic tape of my DVD case. It uh, came out this morning. It was flat like that. And I had done that wrong. The uh, oh, Now look what happened. On its own. That's bizarre as anything. I came out this morning. And it, I had designed it. If you do it right, you put a little strip of tape on one side. Go for the tabletop part as well. You put a little strip of tape on one side, just big enough for the paper clip, and you put the other tape going the other way. And then it's real easy to slip the uh, the 
safety pin, no, the paper clip, in and out. It's real easy to do that. And yeah, you can have uh, your favorite up on the nightstand there, girls. And a hundred more in the drawer. You get tired of that when you take out the next one. and You move them in and out. You could have Sandra the guardian angel keeping you company. Well, that's shirtless and some ball gays around here somewhere. I'm in a hurry. I got a lot of stuff to do today, so I can't take the time to find... Oh, here he is. It's a, a two to a four by six print. You can find them. One to a four by six print. It makes a good uh, uh, magic tape. I just put it on five minutes ago. It will tell me this is a very good image. Does that make sense to you? Oh, you can call it. Oh, he's making something out of nothing. It's a chance occurrence. But I find this kind of thing, it, it occurs with the uh, the other, uh, the, the tabletop particle. I find it occurs most often with a very good image. I'm just going to tape these in. I'm not going to bother with the strip of tape on the other side. But I'm going to hope the devil, and by the devil I mean the Chinese, you can call them Eskimos, Eskimos if you want. You can just call them Gremlins. We'll leave my image alone. I like to take photos on my coffee table there. Lately, the past couple of days, I, I've been doing that. And also uh, make a short video. Well, not always short. So we'll see how well... Is that thing still open? I hate it when the immaculate apartment looks messy. Now there's the uh, you got good tape. You don't have uh, Chinese gremlins in your apartment. It should work fine. You can get a a uh, 4 by 6 photo thing and it, it's still laminate because otherwise it sticks to the uh, to the glass there after a while you laminate it's going to last longer and let me do the circuit check and show you the eyes because I got to get going I'm supposed to have some folks coming over in the afternoon yes apparently it takes a whole lot of blood sugar to grow a new body Either that or this uh, this thing here is a computer gremlin or a electronic gremlin. Because I feel the same whether it's 94. And yeah, I haven't had many of those. Or it's uh, 530. I've had a few over 500, 400s, uh, 300s. It's supposed to be uh, like 120, 80 to 120 if I remember correctly. 216. That's just getting up in the morning. It's something besides uh, just what I eat because I've gone through everything. And, oh, yeah. A big plate of spaghetti with uh, a two burgers worth of uh, burgers, uh, two burgers worth of ground beef, and uh, That's uh, still, it's supposed to go up after that, and overnight as I sleep it drops 200 points. On a few times uh, that I've actually been able to note that. One food will you know, wor work as far as uh, raising the blood sugar or the other direction, and that's different the next time. It has something to do with what's... Uh, Going on with the sun culture and Mary metabolism, growing that new body. Yeah, I ended up in the Good Samaritan Hospital 
after weeks of not being able to do much of anything but get out of bed a couple of weeks, yeah. And uh, yet not eating much doing that either. And they said, uh, as uh, I was in the emergency room there, my counts were up like uh, 600, 700, I forget what they said, but very high. And I was unconscious. I, But the point is, I hadn't been eating anything. Literally couldn't, literally couldn't get out of the bed. Watch some uh, politically correct terrorist paramedics, salt and pepper, Mormon style paramedics, uh, what they look like, talk like Mormon style paramedics. Believe me that I, in that uh, apartment six blocks east of the tallest thing in LA. Well, yeah, I finally made it to the Good Samaritan and not eating anything, my blood sugar is up that high. That seems odd to me as something at work in the metabolism that's causing it to raise. And the devil, I mean the Chinese, don't want me to uh, eat because if I eat, I, I design beautiful imagery of truth or beautiful imagery about handsome bald guys. Remember to post and repost these files, telling everyone how to check and post them five four two four two two nine four one four zero. Make that video, post that video, whatever you get. I've been asking for a decade for a nine three check. A nine eleven flight nine three check is you trying to call me, not getting me. Oh, if you get me, great. Uh, I will announce that in my videos. If you get me, it'll be a first. Not one, not one, flight 93 check in a decade of asking. See that phone you make the video of is every child in America's lifeline. Make the video, post the video. And yeah, it's in the window there. Uh, ask and answer Jesus' question. Is Barack Hussein Obama a terrorist? You can put Trump in there if you want. But he doesn't have a name like a terrorist. So it's not as funny. Funny while well, it's still being serious because that's America's hijack lifelines. Not one nine three taken a decade of asking. Whatever boring thing you get, phone ringing, error message, busy signal. It is not going to be born if you need to fire him to police paramedics. So make that video, post that video. Whatever you get when you don't get me and those who are hijacking your calls to me, they are worried enough about it to alter your phone records to cover it up. But when you've got the timestamp on your phone, you got the number dialed, and the neighbor you just made the video of turns around, has the timestamp, uh, has the number dialed. On his phone, we've got. Phone gate, much worse than Watergate. This involves all America's lifelines. Uh, tell all network news anchors, local news anchors, reporters, everything's fake news compared to your family's lifeline not working. And them not covering it. With a decade of easily documented censorship, that in itself is news, guys. You not doing your job as reporters. You know, we can fire all of you, because we can all do the job with our phones. I do that. Make that video, post that video, and that gory thing in the center. Oh, I don't know how I include that, why I include it, but it's a genetic wound, it's a stigmata wound kind of thing. I get to call my wounds stigmata wounds, especially when they don't come from the outside, they come from the genetics. That's what's going on with the eyes, smaller brown, the brown eyes, that's what they look like most of my life from 2013. It's a little dark photo, at least it printed a little dark, but there's some white stuff right here, and about a year later, there's a more bigger blue surface growing in through and around, smaller brown circles, this is out, it's gone now, this is white. A lot of times completely, sometimes just uh, it leaves a little brown around the black there. But um, if you know what's going on with those eyes, come tell me in person. The devil that steals your calls. Make that video, post that video.
of the devil, Seal Nicole. Come see me in person, have wit wood travel, show me the perfect place to build a Jesus is an Eclipse house. I'm a little hazy today or hazier. They catch the light a lot better. I lift that lid up and show you the top, but I only got two hands. The lids themselves can lift up and separate a little bit because the newer eyes are bigger, bluer eyes. You know what's going on with them? What will accelerate the process? Come tell me because my doctors can't talk about it. Those stigmatized my changing eyes. You think doctors of blind folks would be inter interested in eyes growing anew? Uh, they're not doctors of blind folks. Well, they might be. I don't know. But uh, my doctors can't talk about that. Put that in perspective. They can't talk about 911 flight 93 checks either. They can reach me by phone, make those appointments. Good folks, all our good folks can reach me by phone. Part of managed censorship. Reaching me by phone, you can find a lot of uh, folks on. My call log playlist, youtube.com slash DNFT series. You're going to find a lot of folks there. And if you ask him, oh, why can't I reach Melton? Do you know? And they'll say no. You should be able to reach him and all of that. But uh, yeah, those who get angry get, have a story to tell. I've got some check and post in five stuff. Uh, who to check and post in five up in front of? Of course, I got the military mottos that shows you those. All soldiers, you protect America. Make a video of America's high tech lifelines. The police station's phone. The, Fire station's phone, of course, the military base is phone. Across the country and worldwide, see that phone is every child in America's life under the fire, police, paramedics, make a video of it being hijacked. And yeah, uh, have wit, will travel, come show me the perfect place to build those thousand points of lie. Jesus is a Maclet house. To be built once, you tear down the Great Wall of Evil, has just me and all of my imagery, 25,000 plus. At dapodilia.blogspot.com, D-A-F-F-O-D-I-L-I-A, also Christ Complex 2.wixsite.com slash dapodilia. There, look for the boxes to the right of the heart, and it'll take you to a flicker and take you to a Google Drive that uh, has 25,000. Print me out. I'll keep you company by the desk, by the nightstand, by the tabletop, on the tabletop. But yeah, it's a great wall of evil. You see someone other than me and my changing eyes in that? Someone has torn down the great wall of evil. We started on Jesus as a Michael house. You can call it an opportunity house. Opportunity for the world. Lots of good, honest businessmen opportunity for them. But uh, I have to call it Jesus as a Michael house because as Adam now knows, there will be a test at the end. I hear it's pass, fail, or purgatory.